Learn how to turn regular dishes into food art in our new video. Find more new pranks and life hacks on a brand new channel. Woohoo! Subscribe and enjoy. Follow the link in the description. Welcome to our cafe of beautiful food. And here is our first order. The girls get masterpieces instead of regular dishes. Cut a slanted rectangle out of flatbread. Shape rye bread into a rectangle. Cut square glasses rims out of a cheese slice. Cut details out of a lemon and shape a piece of tomato into lips. Cut pieces off scallions and a lettuce leaf. Put the pieces onto a plate to shape a geometrical face. Lay out the flatbread. Use scallions as strands of hair and lettuce as a hairdo. Place the lemon as a hairpin. Make glasses out of bread and cheese. Put on lips and a slice of lemon to make the face symmetrical. Sprinkle the plate with sesame. You can't eat it right away. Take a photo of it first. Rosie also starts taking photos of her food. Mix one egg with a half a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of sugar. Whisk the mixture. Pour in seven ounces of milk. Keep whipping. Add two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Add one teaspoon of baking powder to seven ounces of flour. Add it to the liquid mass. Make batter. Cook mini pancakes. Place them onto the center of a plate. Turn over a little milk jar and place it near the pancakes. Pour condensed milk into a Ziploc bag. Apply a drop of it to the milk jar. Make it look like spilled milk and paint a maze around the pancakes. Add splashes. Decorate it with mint leaves. We can start eating when all our photos are taken and posted on social media. The girls get a ton of likes right away because an artistic breakfast like this can't go unnoticed. And here is the second dish. Rosie ordered a whole city on a plate. Cut a rectangle out of rye bread. Make silhouettes of houses out of bacon. Cut a house with windows out of cheese. Make a triangular house roof out of a baby carrot. Cut scallions, cucumber, and lettuce. Assemble a house out of bread and cheese on a plate. Add a carrot roof. Place scallions and lettuce to be trees. Put a square cracker nearby and allspice as windows. Create houses and trees all around the plate. Make a sun in the center out of a fried quail egg. It's a real megalopolis on a plate. And Lillian's order is even more extensive. An entire galaxy fits onto her plate. Mix five eggs with two cups of flour and a package of baking powder. Whip it with a mixer. Coat a round silicone mold with oil and pour in the mixture. Bake it. Add food coloring to melted white chocolate, creating transitions. Pour it into a silicone semi-sphere mold. Add different food colorings to make seven planets of different sizes. Freeze the chocolate. Pour eight tablespoons of milk into 14 ounces of powdered sugar. Whip it with a mixer. Divide the mixture into three parts and add food colorings. Cut the ready sponge to fit the shape of the plate. Pour glaze on top, creating a space pattern. Apply splashes of white food coloring using a brush. Make it look like stars. Place the chocolate planets. The photo of the city salad and the space dessert got a new portion of likes. Mm. 
The girls are at home now and decide to create culinary paintings themselves. Let's get started. Melt milk chocolate in a double boiler. Pour it into a plastic cup and spread it evenly over the walls. Put it into a freezer. Whip an egg white, five ounces of sugar, and half an ounce of lemon juice with a mixer. Divide the mixture into two parts and add food colorings. Make gold and brown circles on a big plate. Stick in chocolate candies. Take the hardened chocolate out of the cup. Put it onto the plate. Crumble Oreo cookies without filling. Put it onto the plate to look like soil. Decorate it with icing, candies, golden berries, and mint leaves. Rosie brings a new dish. It's edible chaos on a plate. We immediately need to take a photo of it for our new blog. Lillian checks out the broken pot on the plate and presents her picture. Cut a yellow bell pepper. Chop cherry tomatoes. Put them into the pepper like into a boat. Slice green bell pepper and put it in. Add mozzarella cubes. Put blue food coloring into cream cheese. Turn over a bowl and put it onto a white plate. Spread the blue cheese around the border. Smooth it out with a spoon. Make waves using a fork. Place the boat in the center and sprinkle it with sesame. Add arugula as oars. Take a shot of this beautiful dish and post it with the hashtag food art. Rosie is looking for creative inspo. Our young food blogger is thinking of a way to take a nice shot of this plate. And Lillian has already cooked a new dish. It's a portrait of a curly-haired stranger. Cook pasta in salted boiling water. Cut red pepper into rings. Cut mozzarella into slices. Make hearts using a cookie cutter. Color them with food markers. Place the pasta onto a plate shaping a ponytail hairdo. Add seasoning. Decorate it with the cheese hearts and pepper rings. Create a face with eyes and a mouth on a plate using food coloring. Decorate it with a cherry tomato and cheese stars. This is so amazing! Rosie is so fascinated that she sprinkles cocoa powder onto her hand instead of a plate. Chop banana and strawberry. Mash some of it. Put it into a waffle bowl. Decorate it with strawberries and chocolate candies. Place your hand onto a white plate and sprinkle it with cocoa powder. Take your hand off. Place the waffle bowl. Add a candy and mint leaves. Now her dish is ready for a photo shoot. It's sweet bait for likes. Rosie paints not only on a plate, but also on a canvas. And Lillian is sure that an artist doesn't have to be hungry to create. She cooked artistic snacks for herself and her friend. Cut a paint palette out of a crepe. Make brushes out of another crepe. Cut fruit into pieces. Whip one egg white with powdered sugar. Add food coloring. Place pieces of fruits onto a plate so they look like paints. Define the outline of the palette and the brush details with brown glaze. 
We just have to take a nice photo. The most important thing is to choose a perfect background. Some artistic messiness and the picture of our palette is all done. And Lillian made a whole sky with mushroom air balloons for herself. Cut the stem off a mushroom and finely chop it. Shred cheese. Put the chopped stem and cheese into the cap. Bake it for 15 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Put a quail egg yolk on top. Bake it for five more minutes. Make a circle and a little trapeze out of cheese. Cut a baby carrot. Separate brine cheese into strips. Place the cheese rings onto a plate and mushrooms on top. Put cheese strips near it to be air balloon strings. And baskets from cheese and carrots. Decorate with herbs. Make clouds from pieces of mozzarella. For now, going up are the likes on her photo. Did you like our delicious pictures? Then let us know in the comments which dish you would turn into a masterpiece. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new food art recipes on Troom Troom.